Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Odo Sendaidokai and you are surely here to get the answer to the ultimate question about life, the universe and all the rest. Of course not. Then let's get started. First of all, this works with some compressors that do not have this function by default, but have a small other feature. And of course, this will probably also work in any DAW of your current choice. The way compressors works is that it receives an audio signal and then reacts to it. Very fast compressors react somewhere between 0.0 and 1 millisecond. So almost simultaneously. But then there is a still a little bit of time left that slips through. This can happen with fast transient rich audio signals such as snares, hi-hats or kicks with high clicks. You can of course use the compressor of your choice with a sidechain feature. I'll use the Bitwig Compressor Dynamics as an example here. Let me know in the comments which compressor you like to use and which compressor you have tried this trick with or would like to try. Then I'll set a really heavy ratio and pull the threshold down quite a bit so that we got to see something and bounce the result into a new track. You can clearly see how parts of the transients still slip through even though the compressor is extremely fast at 0 milliseconds. And if you listen closely, you can hear a zip. And this is where the look ahead function comes into play. Some compressors already have this integrated and others do not. But if compressors without a look-ahead feature have a sidechain feature, you can quickly add the look-ahead feature to these compressors. A brief explanation to the sidechain of a compressor. The sidechain receives either the current signal of the track or signal from another track as a control signal for the compressor. This control signal then can be processed with an EQ, for example, so that the compressor only reacts to a very specific frequency range. This is often used to remove the low frequencies with a low cut filter. Otherwise, some bass frequencies might trigger the compressor all the time, although the compressor should actually react to the kick, hi-hats or vocals, for example. That's why I have opened an EQ by default. This means that the signal is first processed in the sidechain before the compressor hears it and can react to it. And here comes the trick. Simply insert a time shift device or time shift plugin of your choice into the sidechain and delay or slow down the signal by a few samples or milliseconds. The compressor can now process the signal earlier than it actually played back. This doesn't mean that we can travel forward in time and find out the lottery numbers, but quite simply that the rest of the entire arrangement is just played a little later. This delays all the other tracks, in other words, we add a little latency. But since latency is actually always bad, it should always be used very sparingly. Now, when I send my audio signal through the compressor, I can see that the mini transients that previously slipped through are now fully caught.
It should also be noted that if you have a compressor that already has this look ahead or sometimes also called delay function, then you should of course use this compressor. This usually brings a little extra magic with it, which can be important in extreme situations. So, unfortunately our magical moment is over again if you haven't given the video a thumbs up or subscribed to the channel. My name is Odo Sendai Dukai. Thank you for your time and attention and I hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future, take care, so long and thanks for all the fish. Ciao ciao.